The Marvels just set a brand new MCU record. For all the wrong reasons, it's the lowest opening of any Marvel Cinematic Universe movie. Look at my shot face. Look at my shot face. Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. Yesterday, we got the weekend box office for the opening of The Marvels, a movie so anticipated by pretty much nobody whatsoever. A movie that had its opening weekend pushed back four to five times. A movie that's first cut was over two hours long and immediately sent to the editing bay. A movie whose next cut was about an hour and 45 minutes that went right back to the editing bay. A movie that's final cut ended up being 88 minutes of runtime because as the Disney executives themselves said, skate quick over thin ice i.e this is absolute garbage get as least out of it as possible and get it over and done with to minimize the damage well that's been reflected in the opening weekend box office the film opened to a meager and i do mean meager based off the fact that its budget is somewhere in the region of 300 million plus a meager 47 million dollars domestically and only 110 worldwide with 63 of that coming from the international audience this plants it firmly as the biggest failure in the mcu rock bottom with the next movie being the incredible hulk which came out in 2008 with a 55.4 million opening weekend adjust that for inflation and you see that this film is set adrift far from anyone this is catastrophic and yet so very very expected at the same time to really rub salt in the wound let's have a look at captain marvel back in 2019 you know the movie that organically did 1.1 billion dollars and that had nothing to do with the fact that it was sandwiched between infinity war and endgame with the end credit scene in infinity war pushing the fact that you needed to see this movie to get what was going to happen in endgame and after of course this movie came out brie larson's role as captain marvel was substantially reduced in endgame because of it brie larson herself contributing massively to this by opening a big fat mouth and alienating what the target audience actually was not who disney want to pretend their audience is but you gotta couple that with the fact that captain marvel carol danvers version isn't a popular character since getting rebooted by kelly sue DeConnick, the character's book has been cancelled multiple 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 times and no matter how many times marvel reboot it and stick issue one on it and put it out there and have it fail and then say well actually it was only a mini series but then reboot it again and have it fail and reboot it and have it fail it's not gonna make this the new marvel superman nobody is gravitating towards this character marvel pushing this character as their big one isn't working never will work do you know why because it's the fan who speaks on this, not the corporation. It's the fan that decides whether or not they purchase these products, not the corporation. And if you want to keep pushing it and losing money, that's your own prerogative. But to compare to the Marvels, Captain Marvel in 2019 did an opening weekend domestically of 153 and a half million. So the Marvels is three times under that. There is no audience for this because the MCU became the MCU. Disney took all their huge properties, Star Wars, Indiana Jones, and the MCU and turned them into princess brands, actually alienating a vast majority of of who the actual audience was. But if you thought that comparison was unfair, let's now compare it to a couple of monumental flops at the box office this summer. The first being The Flash, 
which only did 266 and a half million worldwide but what did that open up to domestically well it opened to 55 million which is actually 8 million more than the marvels has and we saw what a colossal drop off this movie had and it had a comparable budget of around the 300 million mark you have to understand folks but that means a movie's got to hit somewhere in the region of 750 million to 800 odd million just to break even. Never mind make a profit. So, of course, these movies are losing hundreds of millions of dollars for their respective studios. And honestly, I would watch The Flash over the Marvels any day of the week. At least with The Flash, there's some scenes there which I thought were fine or okay or tolerable, or a couple of them were actually good. But The Marvels is just a mitigated dog shit. And unlike something like Guardians of the Galaxy, which did have a very weak opening first weekend, the word of mouth spread about that film, and it actually ended up having really good legs. Unfortunately for Disney, Disney Marvel, people have now seen the Marvels. And because it is a mitigated dog shit, I think this is going to fall even further off the cliff. And we could see an absolutely catastrophic worldwide box office by the time this is finished. I think it'd be lucky to hit somewhere in the region of 350 to 400 million. And then taking Indiana Jones and the Dialysis of Destiny, a film again with a 300 million plus budget, which bombed spectacularly, only doing 381 million worldwide, opened up domestically to a weekend of 60 million dollars. 13 million more than the Marvels has managed to do in theirs. It'll come as no surprise as mainstream media start to have a meltdown. Copium sessions all over the world are beginning to take effect. Here we have somebody saying, any reporting on hashtag the Marvels box office that doesn't mention the fact that its stars were on strike and unable to promote it at all is incomplete and irresponsible at best. Promotional materials have immense value. That stuff helps build movie going experiences now. Now this is from a member of the mainstream media which is desperately trying to cope with the fact that they no longer have the influence to push the narrative and push people into cinemas the way that this film was always going to be marketed was exactly what we saw three diverse female leads fighting against a diverse female villain written by three diverse women and directed by a diverse woman that was always going to be the way that it was promoted and with Brie Larson's track record sticking a very ugly feet in it, the likelihood is it would have done the film even more damage. The fact that they couldn't speak as I reply probably helped the movie not hindered it in the slightest. The strike didn't have any effect on Oppenheimer. The strike didn't have any effect on Barbie, but somehow it now has an effect on the Marvels. Bullshit. Also, the strike's now over, so they can stick microphones in front of all their faces now until their heart's content. The problem is people have seen the movie and the damage is already done. This little clip coming from Nerdrotic, but even Grace Randolph, shell extraordinaire and admirer of John Cena's package, has decided that the MCU is uh, the MCU. Now... I'm sure you've heard the term MCU. It's mm -hmm. being used by some fan communities. Mm -hmm. And yes, the term is extremely offensive, but it's also becoming undeniably true. Uh, how can something be undeniably true and offensive at the same time? It can't. It's just simply undeniably true and something that's been called for so very long now by the very people have been vilified by people like you. And Chris Gore, subscribed to Film Threat, says it absolutely perfectly here. Turning Marvel and Star Wars into girl brands will prove to be one of the costliest decisions in entertainment 
history or is that history chris e never mind just the mcu a lot of entertainment today is missing a huge contributing factor to success masculinity masculinity isn't just something that men bring to the table it's something that a female audience also desires from their masculine characters to try and dismiss femininity is also something which is harming film goers as well women are being deprived of being women and men are being deprived of being men all in the name of intersectional identity politics by a group of broken people and also probably the scummiest disgusting hypocritical pieces of crap on the planet aka holly weird nobody is shedding any tears whatsoever for this disaster in the box office from the marvels what people are really more likely interested in is seeing how bad it's gonna get but don't worry i'm sure warner and dc are just waiting in the wings to take advantage of this coming soon aquaman 2 Hi Chihuahua. I'll see you in the next video. You take care. Bye for now.